Hello, I thought I would take you down today for a walk in my dinner hour. Um, this is a walk I used to do with Lizzie and Ben quite quite often. It is the Badger Dingle and I thought you might like to see it. Just one moment, I'll just get down this path. You would be surprised what's at the bottom of this path. There's um, a little brook that comes down here, which is not too wet at the moment. But you can hear the waterfall. It is a bit slippery at the moment because of the mud, so you'd have to be very careful. This used to be the entrance. Here is one of the caves entrances that used to be. This is nice any time of year really. Um, up that path there, um, it's a bit overgrown now, but there are a lot of, um, well, there's quite a few caves up there. And there's also like one cave which has like um, a large brick, I suppose, which was used as a table years ago. Um, but it's really overgrown and you can't seem to get through to it now. I have got photos on my Flickr account uh, showing these caves which I took years and years ago. If you look at my uh, page, if you get a chance. But there are quite a few people that come down here. all this uh, red stone um, it's really, you see the old railings going back to well, probably the Victorian times if you um, google Badger Dingle um, and have a look at the history it is amazing you can go along this path here which takes you to the Diana Temple at the end, which is now um, bed and breakfast. But uh, you'll have to go a walk along here and see for yourself. I have come to show you actually the, the dingle and the waterfall. We go down this path, which is straight opposite those there, you will see this beautiful scene down the bottom.
Oh, someone's taken the life by from the older. Good of you. This is the dingle. It's very covered in algae now. It's got, the, it's got a couple of families of mallards on here. This used to be, if you look at the history, um, the Victorian play, playground area um, and it used to be very, very popular in its day. It's a shame about the algae though. This is the top of the waterfall. There is another path up the top, it's very muddy at the moment due to all the rain that we've had. Lizzie and Ben used to love it in here. That's the top of the waterfall. The old sluice gates are here. seen them. There are supposed to be otters down here. Um, I haven't seen them yet so and I've been coming down quite a few years. As you can see this path is very very slippy at the moment so um, we have to be very careful. I'm not sure if I can get down to the waterfall but I'll try. Oh, I think it's a bit slippy today, which is a shame. No, it's a bit slippy today, I'm afraid. Well, I'm going down, I'm getting there eventually. I'm going to take it a bit steady because it's so muddy. Way, I'm going to... So you can see why the dogs love it down here and uh, we've had some fun down here, the dogs and, and myself, it's absolutely beautiful. So the sea waterfall of the Badger's Dingle, beautiful clear water, great, great for the children, I've seen that the children down here with the parents and 
doing a lot of investigating and playing in the puddles and stuff. Right, here we go. Got to go back up now. It's a bit scary. Uh, It's really beautiful. 